a tomb. Oh. Ooh, can we find some treasures? Wow. Ooh, let's see. Wow. Oh, I think I found something. Really? There it is. Tomb Raider. Ah, and I found this awesome mask. What do you think? Oh! Tomb Raider focuses around the tomb of a Japanese sorcerer. Sounds interesting. Doesn't it though? From the beginning, they waste no time attempting to show that this new Tomb Raider girl is just as tough with endurance, no fear, Ooh. endless brushes with death. But does it work? Well, around 30 to 40 minutes in, we have a drunken captain sailing a ship with Laura across the ocean, running into the fiercest of storms, of course, tossing them around like a couple of rag dolls. But do I feel this excitement brewing? Hmm. Not in the least. Nothing. I'm just bored. In fact, I'm checking my watch about now, thinking, oh, how much longer is this? But the first 30 to 40 minutes was good, right? So, let's add a little more so-called action in there. Maybe there's still some hope for this film, right? Right. All right, so let's throw in some villains, some waterfall cliffhangers, some bad guys with guns. Being captured, spiders, human skeletons, you name it. Okay, how do we feel now? After about an hour and 15 minutes in. This movie's over two hours long. Hmm. Blah, lame. I can't even believe this is Tomb Raider. Okay, one scene between Laura and her father gave me just a spark of hope, but fizzled out really quickly. And one zombie part provides very minor creepiness. Very minor. But this film has all the same old predictable scene a million times. Scenes in it. Bad guys after the secret. Hanging off cliffs. Straight down drops. You get the picture. Special effects non-existent. Acting lacking for sure. Can't believe I spent six bucks running this waste of time. So, guess what, viewers? Am I gonna go there? Am I gonna go there? Uh oh. Oh, oh. It's time for a rock stomp on it. But, one plus, hey, I got this cool mask out of the deal. <laughs> so, Eret, let's hear your words of how much you loved this movie. Yes, this movie was the best movie of the year. <laughs> Psych. I will get right to the point and just say Tomb Raider is terrible flat out. I found the plot completely unengaging and a snore fest. <laughs> the action sequences were supposed to be really interesting, but they weren't. They were very uninteresting. We were actually laughing at a lot of the action scenes. Laughing at the bad guys, too. You're not supposed to be laughing at villains. The characters in this movie, what characters? I didn't see any characters. There's no developed characters at all to be seen anywhere. The villain was very lacking in this as well. He was kind of a joke the whole time, as Jaika said. Bad green screen, a lot worse than ours. <laughs> Hey, ours is great. Ter there. <laughs> Terrible looking CGI. I mean, b bad editing, bad camera work. Across the board, it was just terrible in my opinion at all phases of the After Effects. Nothing new or original or created to be seen at all in this. Every single action trope, cliche, you name it, is seen over and over. And over. Like one time there's a sequence, what was it, five, six straight cliches in a row? Oh, totally. 
The only interesting thing this film had going for it was the father-daughter dynamic a little bit, and even that they got wrong overall, in my opinion. So you got the half a spark, too, on that. Yeah, and I also, there's a couple scenes when they actually get to the tomb, which is like a, the tiniest part of the movie there is, that I thought was mildly interesting. But still, once again, it was not poorly done overall. It wasn't feeling it, it wasn't feeling most of the movie, and so Tomb Raider, for me, gets an F. Ooh. It's time for character spotlight. Ooh. Man, who can you find in this film, Merritt? Well, it was not easy. Walton Goggins as Vogel is my character spotlight for this one. Interesting. The character to look out for. Walton, in his real life, is actually an avid photographer, traveler, and loves to scuba dive. Wow. He worked as a valet for a parking service for various restaurants across Los Angeles before he got his big break. As for his character, Vogel, in this one, I will give Walton a pass and say it wasn't quite his fault. I felt the character was poorly written. He didn't have much to work with, so I don't blame him for the bad villain portrayal on screen. But yes, Walton as Vogel is my character spotlight for this movie. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, home viewers. Yep, so glad you tuned in. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed this movie. Maybe some subscribes. Yeah, some comments. What do you want us to watch? Yeah, maybe. The Angelina Jolie Tomb Raiders, perhaps? Yeah. Whatever, give us some ideas. And remember, you, you rock! rock.